अनिशा बूटे प्रणाम आचार्य जी द फाउंटेन हेड सेज आई टेक द ओनली डिजायर वन कैन रियली परमिट वन सेल्फ फ्रीडम अलवा फ्रीडम टू आस्क नथिंग टू एक्सपेक्ट नथिंग टू डिपेंड ऑन नथिंग डियर आचार्य जी इन द अब लाइन्स आइन डैंड मैंशन दैट फ्रीडम इज नॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट एंड डिपेंड ऑन अ डिजायर आउटकम काइंडली एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज मेंट बाय फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डिजायर अकॉर्डिंग टू द राइटर फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डिजायर इज फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डिजायर डिजायर ग्रिप्स अस कंट्रोल्स अस टेक्स पोजिशन ऑफ अस वी अलाउ आर सेल्फ टू वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिजायर एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज वॉट यू कॉल एज योर डिजायर इज नॉट योर डिजायर एट ऑल how intelligent does it sound to chase somebody else's desire <laughs> in the normal course of things if your neighbor is thirsty and you start gulping water it would be obviously stupid because you are chasing somebody else's desire in such a case it is obvious but that's what most of us keep doing throughout our lives and the fact never really becomes obvious what we call as our desire is an implanted desire it is a desire that either the body or the world is giving to us implanting in us then arousing within us but we do not have the discretion to see that the desire is not really original it is not really native it is not yours at all and what is the proof that it is not yours at all the fulfillment of that desire gives you very little salvation if your neighbor is thirsty what will you get by drinking a lot of water your actual need might be for food your need is for food and the neighbor is thirsty and you confuse the neighbor's desire for your desire and you keep drinking water how much and how long will that help you that's the kind of lives we lead if you can know your one right desire and dedicate yourselves to it wonderful but in absence of self knowledge we know very little about ourselves we do not know what our real desire is so we keep chasing miscellaneous desires and that's such a waste the real desire the one central desire is this to ask nothing to expect nothing to depend on nothing this is what is called as liberation this is absolutely normal advaitic liberation to ask nothing to expect nothing to depend on nothing in other words to be nothing this is what is liberation this is straight out of adi shankaracharya's books and the buddha's mouth what is liberation to ask nothing to expect nothing to depend on nothing brings me to the beautiful word from the upanishads anavalamb niralamb there is an upanishad by the name niralamb upanishad do you know what the word niralamb means not dependent on anything that which is not avalambit on anything avalamb is support niralamb upanishad 
not dependent, not dependent. That's what it is saying here. And some of our luminaries are wondering whether Ayn Rand is against spirituality. 